This video is how to make basic vector art using Google Drawings. So think of it as taking a photograph and kind of cartoonifying it. If you've ever seen images like these, they were created using vector art. So we're going to learn how to do that. So in Google Drive, we're going to select New. And in the More dropdown, we'll select Google Drawings. You need a photograph as a background, as a base, to create your vector art. So I'm going to insert an image of an umbrella, and we'll just focus on the umbrella, not the entire image, because it'll take too long to do that. When your photo opens up, then you want to go ahead and take it and spread it out to maximize your workspace. It's going to be helpful throughout this to be as zoomed in as possible. So taking a look at our umbrella, the way that we make vector art is we're going to create a series of outlines, a series of polygons. And looking at the umbrella, I can see five different polygons that I want to make. We've got this green shape, this yellow shape, the blue shape, and then the top and the bottom of the umbrella. In more advanced art, they would make shapes out of every little difference in color that's there. So we're going to zoom in on this part of the umbrella and start with the green part. So we're going to basically outline it. And here's the line drop down. And you can see that the green shape has some curve to it. So we're going to use the curve feature. And now this is a series of just left clicks. So every time I see a change in the shape or a little bit more curve, I'm going to left click. Don't get focused on being perfect. Just keep going. It'll look great. As you get close to the end of the shape, you'll notice that the shape kind of grabs out and finishes. You want to take that shape and using the fill feature, change it into transparent so that we can see the color that's behind it. Another kind of shape that we want to focus on or another technique is not using the curve feature, but using polyline. So polyline is making a, a more linear polygon. Like the base of this umbrella. Again, being zoomed in is helpful because if you're too zoomed out and you're doing too fine of details, the computer program will automatically try to complete a shape that you didn't want to be completed. I'm going to pause it for just a moment, finish this shape, and continue the video. So now we've finished outlining each of the five major shapes, and it's time for us to fill them in. Remember also that we converted them into transparent view so we can see the colors behind them. So in the first selected image, I want to use kind of a grayish color. Select the next piece. I'll use a similar color, maybe a little bit darker. If you wanted to get more precise, there are apps and extensions that you can add to your browser that allow you to grab a really specific color. In this case, we're not too worried about it. So we're just about done now. And the last step we want to do, and I'm actually going to remove the background right now. I'm going to left click and select to highlight everything that's here, all of those five shapes. And then in Arrange, I'm going to select Group. And now I have my very own umbrella cartoon image. Just imagine if we were to do the entire picture, what that might look like. So that's it. That's your introductory introduction into vector drawing. Hope you enjoy it. It's great for portraits. It's great for uh, simple scenes, simple shapes. Just be aware of how many shapes um, and how much time it might take to do something super complicated.